Hey everybody, today we are going to draw spaghetti and meatballs. Look at that meatball on top of the spaghetti. It's pretty happy. Now we only need four basic lines and shapes to create this. An arc, a line, a circle, and an oval. Are you ready to see how this all fits together? All right, let's start off with the meatball at the top. And we're gonna use a series of arcs. The arcs will go right about here. We'll start here with small arcs. And I want you to vary the size of the arcs. Okay, so some are going to be big and some are going to be small. And you don't have to make it all the same as we go around. All we're trying to do is create a bunch of arcs that are joined and they're gonna go around in a circle, okay? If at any point during this video, you need to pause it and catch up, you just pause the video and then catch up and then join back in with us. So all I'm doing is creating a bunch of arcs. There's no right or wrong way to do this. We just have to the only thing you have to be uh, concerned with is that it has to go all the way around in a circle and join back here. So I'm making big arcs and small arcs and medium sized arcs. And they all go around in a circle and join back together. So there we have the outline to our meatball. Now I'm going to add in legs and feet. So we're gonna use a line for the legs, one on either side, and then we'll add a short line at the bottom for the feet on either side, just like that. Next, we're gonna add in an arc for the mouth, right about here. And then we'll add another arc in for the bottom of the mouth. And then you can color that shape in. Next, we're going to add in ovals for the eyes. One oval here. And one oval here. Fantastic. Now we're going to add in arcs inside the ovals. Right here and here. And then you can color those shapes in. And that makes the eyes, just like that. Next, we're gonna add in two more lines. That'll be the arms. So here we go, up this way. And we want these arms to be outstretched, like the meatball is cheering because the meatball is on top of spaghetti, saying, I'm king of the world. Okay, now we're gonna do another line over here. I'm king of the spaghetti. And now we're gonna add in the fingers and um, they're just gonna be short lines. So we can do one, two, three, and then we'll do a thumb, four. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, three short lines, and then a thumb. It looks like they're little hands there. All right, next we're going to add in another arc that will be the top of the spaghetti, but it's going to be the spaghetti sauce. So the meatball is going to be standing in the sauce. So we'll add the arc here, and then we'll add in another arc here, and then an opposite arc going the other way here, and then we're going to do that again. We're going to be making a wavy line. Okay, and then we're just alternating our arcs to make it look like the sauce is dripping down. And we'll stop right there. Next, I'm gonna turn my paper this way to make this easier for me to do. So now I'm going to add in more arcs that are gonna start being the spaghetti. So this is gonna be a lot of arcs. So follow along, and again, if you need to pause at any time, just pause the video and catch up. And then join back in. So we're gonna do an arc like this. 
as well as I said this is going to be a bunch of arcs because we have a lot of spaghetti and you'll see that as we draw these arcs it's going to look like it's a lot more spaghetti than we're really drawing there's a trick it's an art trick so we're making it look like there's a lot more spaghetti so now, once we have these arcs drawn like this, we're just gonna close them off with little arcs on the edges, just like that. And it makes it look like it's a rounded, like it's, it's going around the pile of spaghetti. So you can do that over here too. And then, if there's an opening here, in this opening, underneath of the sauce, we're gonna add in arcs here. So what we'll do is we'll have one come here, Imagine it goes behind or underneath the sauce and comes back on this side. Same thing here. It goes up and then over. And then one more here. Up. And then you may see that little line there. And then we're going to just fill this in with other arcs. Those lines are arcs right here. They're very short so that we can say they're lines. One, two, three. Like that. Now yours may not look exactly like mine and that's okay. Everything, every drawing is going to be a little different. Just like we are, we're all a little different. So let's add in more spaghetti over here. So I'm gonna keep my drawing sideways just to make it easier for me to draw these arcs. And I'm just gonna add a few more arcs here and then close those off with arcs. Okay, and then I notice there's a little gap here, so I'm gonna add in one more, just like that, one more arc right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn my paper back and you can see how our drawing is coming. Now I'm gonna add in another meatball over here, just how we did this meatball. So we're gonna do a bunch of arcs that go around in a circle. This is a complicated drawing that we're doing together. But if you break it down into small steps like this, it's easy to follow along. Okay, now on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add another meatball. But I don't want you to go all the way around. We're gonna stop. Okay, so here, watch. We'll start here and we'll add our arcs. Go all the way around. When we get about even with the other, where the arc started, right there, we're gonna stop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw another arc to make it look like it's sitting in the spaghetti sauce, like this. Okay, now we're gonna make that spaghetti sauce that it's sitting in, we're gonna have this arc come out here, and we're gonna curve another arc around like this, and then we're gonna have one that'll be an opposite arc going this way. And then we'll have another arc here. And then an opposite arc. See, we're just making this big wavy line that's going around and then it's gonna connect back here. So we'll have an arc come this way and then we'll have another one join here and then go back around the meatball. Okay, and then we're gonna do more spaghetti sauce over here. So now that we know that these arcs are all joined together, we're just going to call this a wavy line. So follow along with my wavy line. This is a bunch of arcs put together. So we'll go around and we'll go this way and then we'll go this way and then come back like this. So it's one big group of arcs that are joined together to make this shape. Now we're gonna add in another meatball here. So imagine this is gonna be at the bottom of the plate, the bottom of the pile. So let's make our arcs and join them all the way around. And why don't we make this one do the same like this where we don't do it like a full circle, we'll just have it stop there. And we'll do an arc like this so it's sitting in spaghetti sauce. And then we'll do the same thing with the spaghetti sauce. We're gonna make our joint arc lines. It'll just be one big, long, wavy line. And that'll, that's going to hit the bottom of the plate, so we're not gonna draw that line there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. This will be a wavy line 
like this, okay? Now, now we have that, we're going to turn our paper sideways again and draw the big arc that's going to be the base of the plate. So right here, we're going to start here and then come across like this. And stop. And then we're gonna do another one right below it. The same arc. Very good, everybody. And we're gonna close those off with lines. And we're gonna make two lines diagonal, like this and this. And we're gonna make one more arc for the bottom of the plate. It's a wide, shallow arc. It's not a straight line, there's a curve to it, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the spaghetti. Okay, now you turn the paper if you want, or you can keep it straight. I'm gonna keep it straight so you can follow along easier because there's a lot going on here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in all these blank spots with spaghetti. And we don't have to, because these are all inside, we don't have to show the curves on the outside here to close them off. So watch, this can be very, very basic, very easy for us to do. We'll just do one, two, three, four, and now we're going to have them go in a different direction. One, two, this one's gonna go very long over here. Four, and then you can continue these lines underneath. Like that underneath the, the spaghetti sauce. I'm just gonna continue that there. And now we're gonna have them go in another direction. You see how these groups of lines of spaghetti are going in different directions? And it makes it look like it's this really big pile. So now we're gonna go in this direction and more arcs that go behind the spaghetti sauce. Just all we're doing is filling in these lines in different directions. Maybe these fill in, we'll have these go this way up here. These are just short lines here. Okay, and now we're gonna add in the spaghetti at the bottom here. And we can have this go over here with a bunch of arcs. And there's a lot going on here, so please take your time. Definitely pause that video if you need to. I think I'm going to, yes, I'll do another one coming this way. And you can make up, now that you understand how these arcs and lines work together, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You can make yours a little different. Okay, so now let's add in this spaghetti over here, these big arcs. This is a big plate of spaghetti. And I'm gonna do it in a different direction. And once you get comfortable drawing like this, like turning your paper and drawing these arcs, you can practice it, you can get more comfortable, you can turn this paper however you want to take control of your drawing and make it do what you want to do. Because you're the artist and you have control over your drawing. So I noticed that these lines don't meet up with the plate. I'm just going to continue this, this curve right here. I'm going to have this one just join in here. And now we're just going to add in, oh, right here, there's a little space here because the spaghetti sauce wouldn't really sit and float like that. So I'm just going to add some more arcs here to make it look like there's more spaghetti there. And now we're just gonna add in the details. Now the details for this are just gonna be little circles to make it look like little pieces maybe of spices or just little pieces of ground meat in the meatballs. And you can do that up here on our star of the show, the meatball on top of spaghetti. Okay. And I'm going to draw a thick black outline around this drawing just to finish it off. As you know, sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't, but I think it'll finish this drawing off nice and smooth out some of those lines that don't join up. 
And you can do this by just on the, uh, the side of your marker, it'll, um, it'll be a little bit thicker if you push down on the side, or you can just push down a little harder on your marker, or whatever it is you're drawing with, you can make it a little bit thicker. You don't have to use a marker, you can draw with whatever art materials you like. What color are you going to make your spaghetti and meatballs? What color choices are you going to make? Are you going to have purple meatballs? Or are you going to have brown meatballs? Now if you watch to the end of this video, you can see what color choices I made. And if you want, you can follow along with those. Or you can use your imagination and you can pick your own colors. You can do whatever you want. Like I said, this is your piece of art. And you are an artist. So artists make their decisions on the art that they want to create. I can show you how to draw a big plate of spaghetti with a meatball, but then after you learn how to do that, you can do anything you want with it. So I'll just finish this up here, and then maybe we'll make a little line that comes out this way, and this way for the table that the plate is sitting on. Look at our spaghetti and meatballs, everybody. Great job following along. Now remember to watch to the end of the video to see what color choices I made. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye. For this and other episodes, drawing lessons, activities, and books, please visit drawwithmrmike.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Draw With Mr. Mike channel on YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook. Draw with Mr. Mike. Let's draw with Mr. Mike. D-R-A-W with M-R-M-I-K-E.